welcome to the Whistles. This year, my mum is doing something called the Ration Challenge. What is the Ration Challenge? I'm taking the Concern Worldwide UK Ration Challenge. For one week, I'll eat the same rations as a refugee, raise money and hopefully help save lives. This box, which I'm just opening now, is all I will have to eat for one week. I have been able to earn a few extra little bits to go with it, such as some salt and some spices, which I'll explain a bit more about later. Um, but if it doesn't look like much, it's because it's not. Okay, that's not a lot of food. Why are you doing this? A refugee is a person who has been forced to leave their country in order to escape war, persecution or natural disaster. I would like to make a difference by doing something. I want to help refugees. And um, by doing this for a week, I should be able to raise some funds, which will then go towards emergency food, healthcare, and life-saving support for the people who need it the most. For one week, I'll eat only the allocation of rations I have here, plus any additional rice and flour from my coupons and any rewards that I may have earned through sponsorship. I can also add in a multivitamin. My rations include rice, that's 420 grams, Lentils, 170 grams. Dried chickpeas, that's 85 grams. Tinned sardines, 120 grams. Tinned kidney beans, 400 grams. And vegetable oil, which is 330 grams. Some refugees are given coupons by the UN or other organisations, which can be exchanged in local shops for essentials like rice or flour to supplement the rations. To reflect this aspect of refugee life, I'll also be able to buy an additional 1.5 kilograms of rice and 400 grams of plain flour to add to my rations. It won't be anything like what refugees go through, as they have so many other things to contend with at the same time but it should give me a better understanding of some things that they have to go through. Can you talk through how you prepared? Okay, well, the first thing I did was check there was nothing left in the box because there didn't seem to be much out on the side here. Then I got my food coupons together. So I've got my flour, 400 grams, my rice, 1.5 kilograms, and finally my vegetable oil, 330 millilitres. Should I be concerned that the expiry date of the vouchers was 2021? I guess not. Anyway, this is about the least authentic part of the challenge so far. I have nipped down to my local co-op, which is just a hop, skip and a jump from my house. Quick check of the voucher. I need 1.5 kilograms of white rice. So where is the white rice? Let's have a look around. Of course, real refugees would probably go to a small um, unit made up by a local charity uh, distributing rice, flour and basic essentials. It wouldn't be as packed as this. Ah, I think I'm here. What am I looking for again? White rice here. Lovely. Long grain white rice. Next, I need 330 millilitres of vegetable oil. Should be easy enough to find. Um, but unfortunately, vegetable oil tastes not very nice at all. If we were allowed olive oil or something, that would be quite a luxury. But I suppose vegetable oil is probably a lot easier to come by. Finally, that 400 grams of plain flour. That should help to make some nice things to uh, eat this week. Uh, where is that? There it is, perfect. Now, there's one thing I've not really explained properly to you guys. As part of my fundraising, if I join a team of other people, then Concern Worldwide say that is reflective of being part of a family when you arrive in a refugee camp. And if you're part of a family, you can each bring a spice to the table. And so I've been allocated six spices that I can add to my meals this week in unlimited quantities. One that was chosen was chilli. Now there's three different types of chilli I can get. I don't normally eat that much chilli, so I'm just going to go for the straightforward chilli powder. I don't like that it says hot in capital letters on it, but hopefully it will add some flavour when I'm feeling a bit like I need a boost. The other spices the team chose were ground cinnamon, paprika, cumin, ground garlic and ground black pepper. So now nothing like a refugee would. I'll put my shopping down next to my automated till and start putting all the things through and no doubt pay with my apple pay so i feel very privileged right now um and it's totally unreflective of the sort of thing i am trying to replicate just one last thing to prep I've got my dark chickpeas they just don't look appealing at all uh but i think i've got to soak them overnight so i'm just going to do that then okay. not as many as i'd hoped but Maybe when you add the water, they'll quadruple in size. I doubt they will, but let's see. 
Now we wait. What meals did you end up having? Okay, so here it is, my final rations for the week. I've not measured out my um, rice and flour yet. I don't get quite as much as that, but you know, it's a good indication. I also um, have had five sponsors. Well, every five sponsors I get, I get a tea bag. So I've had 10 sponsors now, which means I've got two tea bags and my um, and egg. And last night, someone sponsored me again. So I've earned some chopped tomatoes. So today is day one. And I'm starting with a very simple pint of water and a multivitamin. And then I'll start making some falafel, which I hope to have for my lunch. For my first proper meal, which is going to be my lunch, I'm going to use the chickpeas. Now this is the amount I get for the whole week and I've soaked them overnight. I'm going to split this into three. Uh, one third I'm going to use for falafel, which I'm going to have for lunch with some sardines. I've never had a sardine before, I hope they're okay. Um, and then I'm going to put another third aside for a very small amount of hummus for later in the week. And I'm also going to roast some to have as snacks on a couple of the days this week. So I need to do all of that today. But when I boil them up, I'm also supposed to keep the water to use for a thing called aquafaba, which I have never heard of before. But apparently it's a thickener, which some vegans use instead of eggs. So I'll drain off the water from my chickpeas. Most of it I'm going to put into a jar. Um, because at the moment it's really, really hot. And I'm using every drop of water that I can to water my indoor plant. When you start the ration challenge, thankfully, they give you a recipe book and in there, lots of refugees have shared their favourite recipes that they make with the ration packs. So I'm going to do Jamila's falafel, um, but I'm only going to do half of it because it makes 10 and I'm happy to have five. Okay, so that's 42 grams of chickpeas. Add to that 15 grams of flour. So now I put the chickpeas along with the flour into my food processor. Doesn't look like much, maybe I shouldn't have half the um, ingredients, but still, let's give it a go. I only have a smoothie maker, let's hope this works. It feels soft and pasty, so I think, I think that's where I need to be. Perhaps I should have made 10, this doesn't look like much, does it? So next it says to roll the mixture into small balls. I'm not sure how they're supposed to look, but I've managed to make just four. So let's see how this goes from here. As I said, for my snack, I'm making roasted chickpeas. The rest of the chickpeas, I'm going to leave in some water in the fridge until I want to make my hummus. They often use things we don't have. It says here, number five, add olive oil and toss to coat. Now, we only have vegetable oil, so I'm going to have to be using vegetable oil. Now that I've coated my chickpeas, I think I'm going to add some salt. And I'll probably add a bit of... I think I might have put a bit too much paprika on there, but I suppose more flavour is better than less. Excuse my terrible baking tray, but these are now going to cook for 45 minutes. Then I'll let them cool and see if they are as delicious as they look. As I said before, I was going to have my falafel with sardines, but having just read the packet up of sardines, it says to use within two days, and then later on in the week, I'm hoping to have fish cakes. I will not have my sardines with my falafel, and I shall think of another option. Fairly confident that I have burnt the chickpeas. But I will still eat them as they're part of my rations and I'm sure that refugees make mistakes too and they still need the calories, so that's my bad. So this is my smaller than expected and slightly overcooked lunch, um, but it is only day one, so I think I've probably got enough energy to see me through. So it turns out the falafel was good and four really was enough because I'm totally full because they're quite um, stodgy. Um, the Roasted chickpeas weren't disgusting, even though they look really burnt, um, but they could break your teeth each time. Carla Marie's focaccia. So this is simply flour, water and oil mixed together. To make a soft ball of dough. Okay, so now I've pulled it into a flat, roundish shape and put some indentations in with my fingers and added some salt. And actually, because I'm in a team and I'm going to add all these spices, I think I'm going to add a little bit of garlic on there as well. Okay, all done. Now I put it into the oven for 20 minutes. Okay, the focaccia is ready and you kind of imagine that it would come out all risen and doughy and delicious, but then you remember there's no yeast in it. I took it out dead on 20, so it probably could have been browned a bit more, but after what happened with the chickpeas, um, I just didn't want to risk any more burnt food from my rations today. Plus, I'd like it to be more doughy than I would hard, so... We'll see how we get on with it, but it's finished and it's um, it looks edible. The focaccia was really good, really tasty, except for in my quest for flavour, I added far too much salt. How is day one been? Emily, where are we going for tea tonight? 
Five Guys. And what can Mum have at Five Guys? Nothing. Oh, and why are you going to Five Guys today? Because it's Father's Day. And why is that special? Because it's Dad's favourite um, place to eat out. Oh. I was definitely feeling the lack of sugar by the end of the day, but this Five Guys thing was the ultimate in punishments. Oh, it was a real killer watching them. How do you feel about going into day two of the ration challenge? I think we imagine that refugees are people used to living on chickpeas and lentils, but why should they be? Any of us could be a refugee. In reality, I've not eaten enough today, and thankfully I ate loads yesterday, so I'm not really feeling it but I'll need to work harder tomorrow. A lot of the reason that I've not eaten as much as I should have done is the awareness that I have to make these rations last for seven days. I guess most refugees won't know how long they need to make their food last. It must be awful not knowing when the new suppliers are going to come your way. It's been quite a chickpea heavy day and I've relied on salt too much for flavour, so I really need to look at this really hard tomorrow. We'll keep you updated as the week goes on. Thank you for watching Whistles. See you next time. Bye.